What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome back to Psycho Gamer. I'm your host, Aubrey, as always. And today, we're going to talk about something that came out a little while ago that I seem to have overlooked that somebody ended up bringing up to my attention just today on the channel. So, Projectorcade. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. But we're going to take a look at it and give you a little bit of the information that is on the one website that it's available at. So hopefully you can determine whether or not you want to get it yourself. Hopefully you have a very dark room. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe, guys, and stay tuned. We're going to take a look at Arcade 1-Up's Projectorcade. All right, welcome back. I'm not anticipating this to be a very long video, but I hope you guys do like the information and content that you're going to walk away with today. So Arcade 1UP is well known for doing their arcade cabinets, their party cades, their counter cades, and any of the other cades, maybe Gatorades. I don't know. Fact of the matter is this is their first venture into what has been known as the projector cade. Now, I did see this pop up on some forums probably in the past month or two, and I thought it was actually a joke, but apparently it's a real legitimate thing. So we're going to jump into my computers. We're going to take a look at the QVC website to see what this thing is all about. So here we are, QVC's website, Arcade 1 at Pac-Man Projectorcade Home Arcade Projector. So just... Looking at this, just first look, I'd say you probably have about $20 worth of wood here. Even with the overinflated prices right now. We're going to take a look at the pictures before we do anything. So this is one way you can set it. This is where you actually have the projector which from my understanding, it's only maybe about a three or $400 projector to begin with, so you're really not paying that much more for it other than for the branding and for the actual control deck arcade joystick over anything else. So this looks like a little shorter version of it. I think what it is is you can take this entire little cabinet out and set it on the floor. So yeah, it looks like the little insert right there can actually come out and sit by itself. It actually has this. I'm assuming this is for adjusting the actual angle of the projector itself. Here's your control deck. It is a single player joystick. So as you can see, it's going to have your one and two player. It has your four directional joystick, you have your on off volume control, and you have your three buttons. Why? Because this is not Pac-Man only. There are actually a multitude of games on here, which equal up to about 12 games. So, which is kind of typical for some of your more current Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man type games. Uh, here is your actual projector right here. So you got your different buttons right here. Now, what I do understand, this isn't just a projector specifically for playing this particular arcade cabinet. It is an actual projector that has HDMI in, so you could plug game consoles into it or Blu-ray or DVD players or whatever you might have. Now, looking at it, yeah, they're playing in a pretty dark basement other than the picture they're taking. As you can see, it looks... Pretty washed out, so it must not be super dark in that actual room itself. But I think it, with something like this, you are going to have to have a fairly dark room in order to actually be able to play this game halfway decently. Uh, this is the control deck, arcade stick, whatever you want to call it. And here it is on the side of a house in a very dark setting. So... If you don't have a very dark setting at all, guys, if you have a house that's got a ton of windows, you're probably only going to be playing this thing at nighttime. Now, the kids may love that. Put it in their room, put it on their wall, put it on their ceiling. They can lay in bed and do whatever uh, just so they can 
get the full effect of this particular game. Now, we're going to scroll down. We're going to talk about some of the features, and we're also going to talk about the games that come with it as well. The description, birthday parties, family gatherings, game nights, liven up all of your events with this home arcade projector and enjoy hours of retro gaming fun from Arcade 1-Up. It includes the projector, the gaming deck, the gaming deck stand, projector stand, HDMI cable, and power cable. It does include 12 games, Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, Rally-X, Galaga, I'm assuming this is Galaga Plus or Ga Plus, Galaga 88, Dig Dug, Xevious, Rolling Thunder, Dragon Spirit, and Mappy. can be used as a TV, plug and play, or with Arcade 1-Up Home Projector. So you can plug other things into it other than just this particular arcade joystick. Multiple deck storage. Measures 18 by 43 inches. I'm guessing that's wide. Might be depth. They never say in here. 20.8 inches. I'm guessing that's wide. And 30.98 inches. That must be your height. 46 pounds. And you get a 90-day limited manufacturer's warranty, which really isn't much. I would hope you'd get more with the manufacturer of the actual projector itself because you know they didn't make that projector. All they did was slap their name on the front of it. There's got to be some brand on the back there. Now you do have your focus, your keystone. Like I said, you have all your other buttons here for navigating around the menus in this particular cabinet. Now, it is on sale for $423.96. For sure, that that particular projector itself is going for probably about three, $400 by itself. Maybe even less. Sure, it's most likely 720p, maybe not even 1080. If any of you guys know any of the other specifications about it, if you've managed to throw your money away and actually get it, post down below, let us know. But this game can be purchased right now. So it is add to cart, and you can buy it and have it shipped straight to your house. It does have a couple of reviews on it. Projector works fine. Somebody said that it shuts off after about an hour of use. I think the person may probably have a faulty fan on the inside of it, which Thomas Grillo, I don't know who you are, but hopefully you can get that taken care of and fixed as well. So that's really going to do it, guys. There's really not much more to really talk about when it comes to this particular machine. I mean, projectors are cool if you have a really dark room. Unfortunately, most people don't have real dark rooms. They don't have blinds with blackout curtains and things like that all in their house. My house, yeah, I kind of do, but I don't like the bright light when it comes to some of the stuff I've got in here. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys got some good information on this projector, Cade. Myself, would I buy it? I probably would not buy it. I just being honest, I don't have white walls. I don't want to get a projector screen. I don't want to put up a big white sheet. You know, there's a lot of factors in terms of this. You know, there's other costs if you want to do it right and do it correctly and have it look like it's supposed to. A wall is cool and all, but, you know, you're going to still have all the imperfections of the wall that could affect you with your game. So what do you guys think? Post down below about the projector kid if you liked it if you liked the idea of it i don't know i'm not sold on it myself but make sure you hit that like and subscribe guys stay tuned we're gonna be back with more psycho gamer and me and until then guys game on